now that we've run the soil out of the line through flushing, we can go ahead and close the ends of the main line and the drip tape. How do you go about doing that? Yes, uh, we can use this uh, clamp here and the way we want to do it is we run the clamp through the pipe and then we just fold it back and run it through this other hole. And just this simple kink is holding all and the water back. the water, you can see there's no leak, it's totally blocked. And this is essential to maintain the pressure in the system so that the water comes out through our, our little emitters. That's correct. And we're gonna go do the same thing on the drip tape as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. So to close the end of the tape, we use this piece here. It has one side with a smaller opening and then one side with a larger opening. So the tape goes through this smaller opening and then we fold it maybe a couple of times and then push this back and make sure it's nice and tight and this will seal the end of the tape line. Well you have your complete system in now. Uh, the main line is delivering water to our drip tape. Uh, I always think of these as lateral lines and even though we're standing in a research field this system is really adaptable. We can use it in the home garden vegetables or ornamentals. That's correct, yes. And with the emitters, they're designed to spread the water out, right? Um, yes, we have, with this particular tape, we have emitters every 12 inches. But as you can see from this part of the field that was irrigated this morning, that even though the emitters are discharging water at 12 inches, we get a nice little strip of weathered surface um, so all the vegetables and crops in a row could use that that soil moisture that's that's been there well thank you so much for demonstrating installation for us i appreciate it my pleasure